Hey guys, Trace from Track My Fish here. I just wanted to do a quick run through with you today um, about the Track My Fish for Tournaments app. So once you've downloaded that app, there's two options. If you've never used a Track My Fish app before, you will go to the sign up, enter the details in, screen name will be your first and surname. Um, you enter in a email address and a password that you'll remember and you click sign up. Um, once you're actually signed up, you can then go into your login screen. If you have used the Track My Fish apps before, uh, you'll head straight to this login screen. If you've forgotten what your username and your password is, you can contact us via Facebook, uh, via Messenger or via email and we can reset that one for you. So I'm just going to quickly log in using my details to show you what then happens. So for me, it automatically goes into an event, uh, so that might actually happen for you guys as well. Or the other thing that might come through is it'll ask you to choose an event. So what we'll do, we'll click the little grey arrow, it will have the list of the events here. Uh, you'll be advised what event you'll need to jump into. So today we're going to jump into the MTA 2019 Team Championships and press enter. If you've used the app for the first time, you might actually find a couple of pop-ups which will allow locations, uh, allow access to the photo camera. So from here, what we need to make sure is save to photo stream is on. So this is for when you take your photos or upload your photos, a copy is actually saved on your phone. Online and offline mode is used for when you have not so great phone reception or completely out of reception. This allows you to log all your catches, save them in your log, so when you're back in better reception, you'll be able to push them through to the server. So what we'll do, we've got great reception here today, so we're gonna jump in and press go online for you. So you can do one of two things to load your fish. You can do it live by taking a photo, but what we highly advise for everyone to do is actually click the little photo button. So what we do is advise to take a photo on your brag mat, take your happy shot with your camera phone, and then upload it to the app. So we're gonna jump in, go into our camera log, We've chosen a photo that's nice and clear on the brag mat. We're going to accept that one. So nothing has saved at this point of time. It just means that we're happy with the actual photo. Uh, you can edit it by pressing edit if you want to reload a photo on there. We're going to also upload a glory shot or a happy shot. So we'll do the same process for that one there is just upload it. Now, if you're assigning a fish to another angler, you will hit not my fish. Once you click that button, a little section comes down here and that will actually allow you to type in another angler's name. So we'll put that one in. Species, you can either type it or hit the arrow. And for this event, we've only running with Barramundi. There may be a bigger list to go into there. Um, you can either choose that or as I said, type it. So in the length part for this one here, uh, we're going to put that one in mils for us. So it's 610. Everything's there that we need and we'll press submit. So because we're online, it will pop through into the three sections to upload. So it'll upload the data, upload your photo of the fish on the brag mat, and then also upload your happy shop. When you get this, it says that it's successfully reported. It's gone to the server for us to check it. Now, if you're wondering how that you can actually check your log, has my fish been sent? Up in the top left-hand corner, there's the log button. And then in here, you'll see whether or not it has been sent. So this has been sent by me, the time, the date, the length of it, and if it's received. If you see it saying not sent or part received, what that actually means is that you've had a drop of reception or you don't have great reception. So that's where we recommend you guys go offline, submit all your catches, and then when you're back in better reception, to log all that one through. That's pretty much everything you guys need to know with how to log a fish through the Track My Fish apps.